Is this element? Where was that? Where did I drop that? There it is. That's something we may actually want to hang on to. Turned out very helpful in that elemental dungeon. Nice. As I said, Darna, good job. Let's talk for a moment. Let's, let's relax. Let's, let's have a little talk. Tell me about your sister. Well, I suppose I was. Might be a good idea to talk about it. That was kind of my fault what happened. Kinda. I was the upstart that made the clan elders all huffy and she wanted to be like me. She thought all it took was going against what they said. Yeah, in case you don't remember, she was the first or one of the first female priests of Vergadane. In her clan at least. She never wanted to cause any harm. It all just got blown out of proportion. What was her name? Her name? I'll get to that. I have to say a few other things first to make it clear what happened. It was such a little thing. It follow I followed the spiritual path. Trickery too, but spiritual. She was all blades and glory. She wanted to follow our father into the elite guard. Guessing, guessing that's some, some sort of halfling paladin then. There was no obvious sign that this should be tolerated. Not like in my case, so the others forbade it. She sought training anyway. When it was discovered that she has defied what was best for her, she was banished for a time to learn what she had lost. It is, yeah, it is a bit like, like her training with Dogen. Perhaps, but not at the time. She made a life as an adventurer, but there were unforeseen consequences. Suffice it to say that all did not go well, and in the end I decided I felt better away from certain influences. I hope you understand. That's all you want to say? That's your choice. Ah, I just need some time to figure it all out. I've been avoiding the subject for quite a while now. Just give me a little time. We'll talk again, I'm sure. Gilfoth likes her. She's fun to be around. Okay, so it was a good idea to come here first. Got some easily gained loots. Those orcs weren't really tough. Not even the chieftain. I guess the, the assumption is that they already got decimated by Timo Farrar. Who, <laughs> if you remember, made a note to himself in his notebook to <laughs> rate for some salt because of those orcs. That was a bear just down there. Did you see it? Just down here. A grizzly bear. Not to be trusted sneaking down there. Waiting for his chance to, to first pretend to be good for this friend and then attack him. Bears. Yeah, where to go first? I'm thinking, yeah, let's go to Bloomberg first, talk to Deacon. So all in all, Given the start of the session and what I'm doing now, this is a bit slow paced. Hope you don't mind. Those things have to be done. We are getting ahead of the, in the main quest, so. Let's actually take a look here. We haven't been here apparently. Um, but hey, we got to fight a dragon to balance things out, so. Just checking here in case the Shadow Hearts are after all. It's Ram God's cave, he's doing his own thing in there. No need to disturb him. I like this. I said it before, some of you commented on it as well, it's a nice atmosphere the, the outdoors has in this game. It's kind of melancholy without being depressive. You know what I mean. 
snow and the, the music and the, the wolves howling in the distance it really fits I think it would make the game it would make the game a bit depressive at least um, in the long run but it does have these these bouts of humor to 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 spice things up. I mean the dragon's notebook. That's just. Uh, yeah, she has been here. Um, this the dragon's notebook. That that's hilarious. That's absolutely hilarious. Wasn't taken here? Signs of having been searched very recently. Deacon is nowhere in sight. That two timing little. Can it actually be that he got wind of, of us getting rid of the dragon and then. simply went away? That little Dickens. He owes us one tower statue. Gotta say, underestimated the little guy. He's going to have some explaining to do if we find him. The other houses are burning. Can't go in there. Well, there might be a possibility of him having gone back to the rest of the kobolds. Now that the dragon is gone, but he said he wanted to be f well, he wanted to be free of the dragon, not necessarily of the kobolds. Interesting. Well, if he's gone there, he's he's not not going to get very far. little you have a diary entry for that <laughs> oh okay well that's one of the things I forgot apparently here says Deacon is willing to hand over the statue of Timo for us, either talked into releasing him or somehow killed. Until one of these things happen, Deacon will be hiding out within a shop in Bloomberg. Oh, oh wait, wait a moment, wait a moment. I, for a moment I thought that was Hilltop. And then I was just searching. No, 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 I was right. He, he two-timed us. He pulled a fast one on us. The same. Didn't expect it. <laughs> yeah, so the only place I can actually imagine looking for him would be the Cobalt's Caves. Unless, just a regular deer. Unless the little guy was actually smart enough to to look through uh, all what's going on and seeing if I can. No, that was just the palisades. Uh, was smart enough to actually see through through all the proceedings uh, and made off to Jana to maybe get get. Um, get some favor out of her for, for handing out the tower statue. That's a possibility. In that case, we're going to see him, or at least the tower statue again sooner, soon enough. Which isn't true. No, no, no. They want the tower statue. 
Uh, Janat, that is. She now wants to tell us that she so we don't have any leeway. We, we don't actually have any reason to go there apart from checking if Deacon's gone there. I was just confusing the mask of the statue for a moment there. Yeah, so these are the only two reasonable explanations I can come, come up with on the spot. Deacon having gone back to his cobalt buddies. In which case, Goofus may be understanding and merciful for him. Escaping. Or he's gone to deny, in which case, he's going to get it. Can I help you? Um. No. No? Um. Power. Dragon's head is worthless. Negative energy we can't use. The copper ring. It's not stolen! That's what I meant! The game sometimes just assumes that a trap kit is stolen. Ah. I don't know which of those. The two paws. We can sell, we can make anything out of this. Feather loop we can use. Angus as well, I think. The, uh, wow, that's worth a lot. So we that right away. And yeah, let's get to identifying. What's that bow? Iliac's vengeance. Eliak, an elven ranger, was consumed with hatred for trolls. As a child, he had witnessed the death of his parents at the hands of marauding trolls. The trolls killed, then ate his parents, while the young child cowered under a nearby bush. Eliak spent the rest of his life trying to hunt the creature's distinction. Excuse me. Eventually, his lifelong enemies caught him and tore him apart in the borderlands of the Silver Marches. His magical bow was all that could be recovered from his remains. Take bonus plus one and massive criticals. Well, that's better. And how nice getting a better bow. Looks not not as fancy as the other one, but not going to complain. Selling the longbow plus one. And identifying more things. Like that. Sound burst once a day. Can we use that? Yes, we can. Don't see any harm in it either. Sound burst. Why not? Very good against mages, I would presume. Making them deaf. I don't know if that's how it works. I'm going to have to look up how exactly sound burst works. Oh, loot. Fuck lochen. That looks like a Welsh word. Try to produce light once per day. That's not too useful. Selling it. Ah, uh, yeah, our money travels are a thing of the past. That's. Oh, he doesn't have any. Healing. Um. Whatchamacallit? Kits. Uh, do we have. Cat's Grace, that's what we're looking for. Gotta spend money to make money! But... Oh, clarity... I don't even know what, what clarity does. Ocean speed? It's only two of those, because they're just for emergencies. 